Hey Capricorn, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do your weekly reading for August 10th through August 17th. All right, so I've chosen to use um, a selection of my decks this week. And then I'm using this black tarot deck, which is stunning to look at. You might not be able to see it very well, but trust me, it's beautiful. All right, so I'm just letting Spirit tell the story about what's going on here with them or with you. It could go either way, okay? Did you hear my stomach growling? <laughs> I haven't eaten breakfast yet and I am hungry, but it's been making obnoxious noises. It's crazy. We'll get them all laid out here and then we'll be ready to go. All right, we're ready. All right, so let's take a look. What do we have here? Accepting whatever is next. So your person, you know, this feels like surrender to me, <clears throat> okay? It's like this person is giving it up to the universe to say, okay, what, what's ever next, I accept it, you know? You can see the number here, 73, breaks down to a 10. So something has potentially ended for your person. They might have be, been finishing up some type of cycle, possibly on their own, possibly with somebody else. We don't know. But whatever it is, they're accepting what's next because I feel like they're in some way surrendering to the universe to say, universe, I trust you. All right? That's a good place to be. That's a really good place to be. That might be where you are as well, okay? So let's see what this is about. What do we have here? Page of Wands. Okay, so Page of Wands is... I feel like this person has... Um, a good amount of passion for you they're excited about something or potential with you um, but they're allowing the universe to guide it so this is a good energy for them to be in there you know we have a 10 and we have basically a one here so they're ready for something new what else do we have Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> so they might be ready for something new because something left them. Okay? And that's why they're in this energy of accepting whatever is next. This person might have gone through a rough time. They might have gone through a rough time with another relationship. They might have gone through a rough time with what's going on in the world right now with the virus. Um, but I, I feel like because something very difficult happened in their life, they're ready to look at what they're truly passionate about. You know, whatever they, whatever left them behind or whatever left them out in the cold. Okay. Um, it, it needed to go. It needed to happen for a reason. All right. So this might be this might be you, okay? So it can go either way. But there's this energy of being very accepting of whatever is coming, whatever is next. When you get beat up a little bit in life, you know, there's a reason that you go through difficult times in life. 
okay? Because it allows you to get to this place where you're allowing things to happen, allowing things to find you, allowing things to come to you. So you might have been, again, through a difficult situation. This person might have been through a difficult situation, and it's allowed them to get to this point where they have given something up or something gave them up, okay, to ignite new passion in them, you know, to reignite their motivation in life, maybe. What do we have here? Whoa, twin flame dynamic. So this could be somebody that that you consider a twin flame or a deep soul connection. Somebody that is, you know, that you might have come into their life so they they might have been pushed towards a di dealing with a difficult situation that maybe they wouldn't have dealt with <clears throat> unless you came into their life. All right, so let's see. Twin flame dynamic. Nine of cups. All right, so you or this person or both of you, you see each other as your heart's desire. Your your wish is going to be fulfilled, I feel like, with this person. Okay, and it's because they would have never seen things in a certain way unless you had come into their life. What else? King of Cups. This is so strange. This King of Cups has come up, I think, in every single reading. Last week it was the Two of Cups all over the place. But... Twin flame dynamic and then king of cups, which is unspoken love over nine of cups, which is your heart's desire. So this person, I don't feel like has, maybe they haven't said it out loud that you are their heart's desire, but I feel like they want to. And, you know, accepting whatever is next, I feel like this person believes that, you know, if it's meant to be, it'll be. This doesn't feel like um, a lot of action. <laughs> um, it feels like trusting the universe, which is a good thing, but sometimes there needs to be some action too. But we'll see. We'll see how this plays out. All right, so what do we have here? Look at this. I say what I mean and speak the truth. So this is the throat chakra. Okay, so this person, I feel like if you were to be, you know, dropped right in front of them, they would tell you this. They would tell you that you are their heart's desire. They would tell you that they have love for you. They might have discovered what twin flame is <clears throat> over the course of time, over the course of this connection. They might have left somebody behind in order to start a new flame with you. Let's see what this is. Because King of Cups is unspoken love. And this is saying, I say what I mean and speak the truth. I feel like this person wants to tell you something. Three of Pentacles. Okay. So I feel like they want to come together in order to to tell you something. Nine of Swords. Okay, so there's where, there's the glitch, Nine of Swords. So this person feels like they're in a much healthier place right now, but, you know, I feel like when they think about saying something to you that I feel like needs to be said, they go into this nine of swords energy where they can think about the worst case scenario. Like, oh my gosh, like what if, what if Capricorn like completely doesn't respond to me? What if, you know, too much time has gone by? What if I make a complete and utter fool of myself with Capricorn? They do spend time in that energy. Okay. But at the end of the day, 
They want to come together. And I feel like this over here, accepting whatever is next, partially is, you know, I feel like this person needs some help. <laughs> like needs some help um, possibly from you <laughs> to almost give them some type of hint that you would be willing to talk to them. What do we have here? Ooh, spiteful. I feel like this is how they might see you right now um, as spiteful. They worry about you being spiteful with them. This this person might have might have been the runner in the twin flame dynamic on you, okay? But I feel like there was something that needed to end before this could come together. You know, this person might have left you out in the cold at one point, and now they were left out in the cold. They know what it feels like, okay? And that's why Page of Wands, they might be able to allow themselves to feel that flame. You know, that Ace of Wands is like a flame. They're allowing themselves to feel this connection. But it doesn't mean that they're not somewhat afraid of it. Okay? Spiteful. Let's see what this is about. We've got four of cups. So even if four of cups can be the breakup card, okay? They're spiteful about how this might have ended, even if you perceive this person as having run away in the past, I feel like they perceive it as you running away. I don't know why that would make sense, but it might to some of you because they're spiteful possibly over how this ended or they see you as being spiteful over how they ended this. What else? Six of Cups. So there's a soulmate card right there. So they haven't forgotten you. They're nostalgic about the feelings that they had for you that were unspoken. They still see you as their heart's desire. You might still see this person as your heart's desire. And they have something to say. But I feel like the challenge here might be getting in front of each other. There might be distance between the two of you. And I'm not even seeing distance cards here, but there might be. There, I feel like the challenge is getting in front of each other. And then if you're in front of each other, I think everything would unfold the way it was supposed to. All right, so what do we have here? When you hugged me, it was electric. So there might be a hug, a special hug that happened at some point between the two of you that this person never forgot, okay? Especially, you know, if this truly is some type of twin connection between the two of you, this person hasn't, this person has not forgotten you at all. They think about you, they think about, look at this, they think about some particular hug that the two of you had that was electric to them. They felt the electricity, the chemistry between the two of you. All right, so let's see what that is about. Judgment. So what does this person think about when they think about this hug? They think about coming back together with you. They think about can this situation be rebuilt? Can this connection be rebuilt after possibly having left you out in the cold in the past, which I feel like possibly did happen? I don't feel like they did that because they didn't have feelings for you. They clearly do. They clearly have deep feelings, unspoken feelings for you. They worry about your reaction about coming together right now. They worry about your reaction to something that they need to say. 
will Capricorn accept it? They might see you as spiteful over how this ended in the, <clears throat> in the past, and they're completely nostalgic about you. And that shows up right here around some hug that the two of you shared. <clears throat> and now, when they think about this, they think about reconciling with you, which is all over this reading. And then we've got whoo, Ten of Cups. So there's, there's a lot going on here for this person. And yet... Nine of Swords can prevent all of this from happening, <laughs> you know, because if this person allows themselves to be in this Nine of Swords on a regular basis, they talk themselves out of everything that they feel and want when it comes to this connection, which is Ten of Cups, Judgment. They want to come back together with somebody that they feel completely emotionally engaged with. You know, this is Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is a twin flame card, okay? So, you know, you have a lot of relationships in your life, right? You might have dated some people. And because you've dated different people, you know, <clears throat> you know what the different types of connections felt like. And you also know what this connection felt like. And it might have felt very different. And I feel like that person is acknowledging that it felt very different for them as well. And you feel like somebody that is important to them. and But they're equally scared of what your reaction would be. You know, who knows how much time has passed for you with this. You might have moved on. They might be scared that you've moved on. But they, they want to get together. They want to talk. I feel like, again, that the biggest challenge here is getting in front of each other. All right, Capricorn, that is what I have for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I might be doing a Friday reading this week. We'll see. Uh, but if you're looking for a personal reading, just reach out, all right? I'm always here for you, and I hope you have a lovely week, all right? Thanks so much. Bye.